is Texas Congressman Louis Gohmert. So, uh, Congressman, you know, Trump, in the early days of all this, was trying to keep our country calm. I and mean, we can go back and forth about his press conferences and some of the circus during that time. Uh, but you also had Dr. Fauci and the CDC creating fear and uh, only really permitting one narrative, which in retrospect may have actually been a real deadly one, right? Yes, exactly. Uh, and it turns out uh, Trump was trying to, you know, placate fear, keep that from taking over. Uh, but Twitter's answer was the only thing we have to fear is Twitter itself, uh, social media itself, because uh, it really, Rob, it gets down to this. When the federal government gives uh, immunity from liability to anybody, whether it's the pharmaceutical industry, whether it's social media, then they act with reckless abandon and they should be held to account. I, I really think we need to uh, completely eliminate the liability. I mean, there's been fraud involved in the censoring at Twitter, at uh, w w Google, the social media. Let's eliminate their liability and then let them make a little better decisions, knowing that bad decisions can result in massive litigation that sets them back. That's the way you get accountability, and that's where we really need to go, Rob. What do you think is going to happen when, when the Republicans take over in January? Obviously, you're going to start investigating this stuff when you get the gavel and you could subpoena <coughs> folks. Um, there's still a lot that we don't even know about COVID, right. let alone you know, the response to it and, and how it was a one-way street with regard to information. Um, what's fair game when you guys take over and start bringing people in front of you? What, what's fair game? Every lie told by anybody with immunity, uh, every lie told within the government, those are all fair game and people have got to be held to account. It can't be just a Republican like uh, Bannon that gets held accountable. We have got to bring the Democrats that have lied, committed crimes, and uh, continue to commit crimes. Uh, they, they've got to be held accountable. Otherwise, we will not be able to protect this republic as Ben Franklin hoped we would. Real quick, do you think uh, there might be investigations or at least testimony from other social media companies, let's say Meta and Facebook and Google? Oh, yeah, we've had testimony from them in the past, and they were smug, they were non-responsive, and the way, again, to get, get full accountability is get the liability out there. And some have proposed, uh, well, let's just make uh, a, an exception within the Section 230, and I'm telling you, every exception that's been formulated is big enough to drive lots of trucks through. We just eliminate it, let them stand to account for any of their wrongdoing, but there's got to be accountability. And I think it starts in Congress with bringing these people in that have been lying and committing crimes. Congressman, we appreciate your hard work and look forward to see what happens in January when the Republicans get the gavel and how much new information we learn about what yeah. we went through. So hope you have a yeah. happy new year too. Same to you. Happy new year.